Hello YouTube world, this is TechnoGuy3, and today I'm going to be showing off my backpack, or my geek bag, as I like to call it. Um, and really, uh, if you're a major, major geek, you might have seen a few geek bag videos in the past, but this one's a little bit different. Of course, first reaction might be, dude, you got a cord sticking out of your backpack, what's wrong with you? So my reaction's kind of like, Dude, you don't have a cord sticking out of your backpack. What's wrong with you? So anyway, let's get to this. I'm going to show it off a little bit. Um, because I thought it was pretty cool. So, yeah, let's get right down to it. Usually my laptop will be in here. But you're not going to see that, so I'm going to unzip this right here. I don't have my laptop in it at the moment. But that's where it goes. Right there, There's there's a little pouch that you can't see that the laptop goes in. I also put my charger in there. That's not the most important important sorry. <laughs> can't speak. That's not the most important aspect of the bag, however. Uh, I'm going to skip this pocket right here because if you can see that well enough, there's a pocket right there and there's also a pocket right here. I'm going to skip skip this one and actually I'm going to do this one. This one actually has a whole bunch of cables and stuff in it. I'll just pull a few out. Uh, I have an S-Video cable. I have a VGA DVI-I adapter. I have... Let's see. Oh, this uh, little mini cable kit is pretty much what it is. And you actually get network cables and USB cables. So you just kind of pull them out here. And then if you want them back in, you press the button and they snap right back in. That's really cool. So I keep that in there. Also have a uh, car to home, basically, outlet adapter. And I don't think there's much else in there except a, a VGA cable and a PS2 to USB adapter. Or the other way around, USB to PS2. So, down to this, uh, thing. I actually have a whole bunch of CDs slash DVDs in this pocket. I'll show them to you. I have actually a blank DVD right here. I have two blank DVDs, it looks like. So, yeah, two blank DVDs. I didn't know I had two in here. I have two blank DVDs right there. I have three blank CDs. Actually, four blank CDs. Because I, I, I need those for writing it, moving it to a different computer, etc. Uh, Windows XP Professional Disk and a Windows Millennium Edition Disk. So we put all that back. And if you didn't know, I hope to be a uh, own a computer refurbishing business in the future. So this is all essentials. And I do kind of fix computers for people pretty frequently anyway. On the side pocket, what we have here, might be a little bit hard to see, but um, there is a flash um, pocket, like a, a flash drive. Yeah, flash drive pocket. There's actually a little case for flash drives that I bent backwards and stuck in the pocket there. So it fits perfectly. I just stick any flash drive in there and get on with my life. Next thing, I'm going to show you the top pocket now. Unzip it there. The one with the cord sticking out is this one. So, I have an iPod Classic. Yeah, this is really old. I've had this for a long time. So, I keep it in there because it holds all of my music. I mean, all of it. it. Pretty much everything is on there. And I keep the cord sticking out for a very good reason. It's not just to look cool, but I think it does anyway. I actually have a USB hub in this other pocket. If you can see it well enough, you'll see I have a crap load of paper bags to hold it in place. But uh, it's a powered USB hub, so that's cool as well. If I needed to hook it up to somebody's computer, I have actually a retractable USB cord hook up to it. So I just go like that. It snaps, and I can plug it to somebody else's computer, just plug a flash drive or something in there. 
that's really nice. I keep it plugged into itself so I don't lose the cable or something. And my iPod is also hooked up there as well. Uh, unzip this pocket and what you'll see is my keys actually. I have um, earphones, Apple earphones with the microphone built in. I have a speaker in there, battery powered speaker. And I also have the power adapter to my USB hub. So that's pretty cool as well. If I need to hook it up to something, my freaking backpack has power. Ha ha ha. So I'll move on to the next pocket here. There's only two more pockets, guys. Okay. This is next to last pocket, and what's in here is a memory card holder. So, I'll open it up. I actually only have three memory cards in there right now. There's an 8 megabyte compact flash, a 16 meg SD, and a 1 gig SSD. Not very impressive, but I have a 2 gig SD in my camera right now, so that's a little bit more impressive. Last pocket in it is a mouse. I'm actually planning to uh, put a uh, fold up, not fold up, but roll up keyboard in here too. So just in case somebody's like uh, mouse or keyboard kind of fried and they somehow thought their computer was frozen, I could just hook it up, test it, and just say, hey, you need a new keyboard or mouse, depending on what it was. So yeah, it's wireless. It's wireless because I like using wireless mouse, um, a wireless mouse with my laptop, which I usually keep in here anyway. It's not in there right now, as I said before. And that's pretty much it for my geek bag uh, tour. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, do that. It's funny because I actually got this idea off of Live Free or Die Hard. I don't know if you've seen that movie, uh, but it's, it's it's a great movie. It's one of my favorite movies ever. One of them. Uh, I really, really like that movie. Because, uh, what was his name? Farrell? Something Farrell. I can't re even remember. That's really sad. I usually remember that his name perfectly. But he had a bag just like this. It was actually just like a, a over-the-shoulder bag. But he just took stuff out constantly. And he had no clue what it was. But he hooked it up to some random USB port or something. And it did stuff. So that's kind of what gave me the idea to do this. Uh, pretty different, as you might say, but I like it. It's very useful. Um, nothing real much to say else, but Techno Guy 3, thanks for watching.